Comfy UI allows us to use NVIDIA graphics cards, AMD CPUs, and Intel CPUs to run Stable Diffusion. The process for installing these is actually kind of similar. So we'll start off by looking at the results that we want to get. We want to get something that looks a little bit like this, and we'll have the workflow laid out a little bit like this. It'll be a little bit different when we first start it up and it will take our prompts. It will then produce an image. And to set this up, what we need to do is to get Comfy UI itself and we get Comfy UI over at GitHub. And on GitHub, we want to go down and to install the software, we want to go to installing Comfy UI and then the direct link to, to download. This downloads a zip file we're going to use to actually install Comfy UI. So it'll allow us to run it on NVIDIA GPUs or Intel and AMD CPUs. Now, when it comes to the other thing I want to download, we want to download something called Comfy UI Manager. And this is something that makes it much easier to update Comfy UI as time progresses. We also want to have a checkpoint and the checkpoints are basically the models that do most of the work in running stable diffusion. Now you can choose whichever model you want to, to work with. Dream Shaper is a very simple, easy to use one. Uh, it's one which is also very versatile. Come here and click here and it will give you an option to download. When it comes to the Comfy UI Manager, this doesn't actually come from the same author as Comfy UI. It's a different author. It's uh, Dr. Data. And with this one, to download this one, I'm going to recommend a slightly different process. We can go to this button here and then choose download zip and it will download a zip file that we can then unzip and use inside of Stable Diffusion. Now gather all your files in one place and this is how we're going to proceed to actually install the software. We're going to start off by taking the Comfy UI portable CPU NVIDIA GPU file, this large file, and we're going to right click and we're going to, I'm just going to extract here. That will extract that particular zip file into a folder. And that folder is going to be where our Comfy UI is located. We can also work with this, these two a bit later on. Now it's called Windows Portable because it's basically, it's self-contained. So it runs on Windows, but you can use it without necessarily having to rely on things that are pre-installed inside of Windows. Now, once again, using 7-zip, I'm going to unzip this particular file and I'm going to extract it here. This will give us the Comfy UI Manager. And this is what's known as a custom node. Now, custom nodes can be used to add functionality to Comfy UI. And we'll use this, we'll use the Comfy UI Manager folder uh, a bit later on. And I'll show you how to set everything up. But we're going to be working inside of the Comfy UI Windows Portable folder. So what I want to do is to put the manager inside of the Comfy UI Windows Portable uh, folder and also the Dream Shaper uh, Safe Tensor. We're going to put all of those there. But I want to, first of all, run a couple of things before we actually get started. So we double click on this particular, uh, on this particular folder, opening it up. Now inside of this folder, there is a readme which contains some useful instructions which you may want to, uh, you may want to go through these to help you understand how all of this runs. What it's telling us is basically we need to go here into the Comfy UI folder and we need to find a models folder. And inside of the models folder, we need to find checkpoints. And in, in checkpoints, we need to put that Dream Shaper file, that Dream Shape, Shaper safe tensor that needs to be placed here. So I've gone ahead and control X or cut the uh, Dream Shaper safe, safe tensor. We're going to go back into the Comfy UI portable. We'll go into Comfy UI. Once again, we're going to drive down to models into checkpoints. And what I'll do is to paste the file here, the Dream Shaper file. There it is. And we can go back up once again, right to the top. 
and we can take the comfy UI manager and we can put that inside of a specific folder. In a similar way, we're going to go down to look for custom nodes. And we can actually paste that in there. I'm actually not going to do that immediately. I'm going to run Comfy UI first before I paste that in there, but then I'll come back and paste it in there. So to run it, what we'll do is to go to the home folder where we've got Comfy UI installed. Now the process for running on CPU is very similar to the process for running on GPU. We're going to go to this bat file and double click on the run CPU dot bat say OK to that, and it should open up a command prompt window. And once it does that, it should automatically open up Comfy UI in your default, in your default web browser. Now the window is open. So we've got the command prompt window open here. And uh, this is the web address that we need to use for Comfy UI. So you can copy that and use that, maybe bookmark that if you want to. Keep the window open. Don't close the window, otherwise everything shuts down. And then we have Comfy UI, which has opened up with that web, ad web address. Now this should be more or less what you see. You've got the settings here with the default workflow. Uh, you also have at the side here, this is the command panel, the control panel. And with the control panel, you can start doing your renders, your, uh, your image renders, your diffusions. What we what you need to do if you haven't got the default workflow, you can choose load default workflow. It will say, uh, do you want to do that? Are you sure? Say yes. And what we'll actually do is we'll queue a prompt. And when you run a prompt, what will happen is that you'll see a set of uh, instructions running from load checkpoint to the clip and clip text encoders. Then the case sampler will become active. And we can actually see what things look like on an active node. The case sampler takes a bit of time to complete on CPU. It's the slowest part of the process for the CPU. In a GPU, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, it can actually run very quickly. But here, it takes a bit of time, but you can see the progress there. And what happens is that it will carry out a number of steps. And the number of steps that it needs to carry out is stated here. Now feel free to experiment with lower values, 10, 12, or something like that to make the process complete faster. And once this is completed, it will decode the image and then you will have an opportunity to save the image. It will automatically do it using the save image node. Now the situation you have will look a little bit like this and you can zoom in, you can scroll in with the mouse wheel. You can scroll out and if you click and drag you can move the entire workflow or move the entire workspace from, from side to side or up and down, whatever you want to do. Now, what we don't have here is the manager. And once we actually install the manager, you should see the manager will come up here. That will add some functionality that will allow us to do extra stuff like keeping Stable Diffusion updated or keeping Comfy UI updated to be more precise. Now, when the case sampler is finished, we should see the decode happening and then we'll see the image appearing here. And this should be our first diffusion. We've got the prompt there. We've got the galaxy in a bottle. And if you want to experiment with different prompts, just scoot on over and play around with the text inside of the, inside of the positive prompt. You can keep this the same in the negative prompt or if you, you can put things that you don't want to see inside of the negative prompt. So. Whatever you want to censor, you put inside the negative prompt. This is basically how it works. It's pretty straightforward. And if you want to do multiple renders at the same time, you can click on the Q prompt several times and it will run several in a batch. Now, this is the basic introduction. And if you guys find that fascinating, what I will suggest for the CPU run is that you should probably pick up on a few techniques for making things run faster. So I've got extra content on how to make everything run faster when you're running on a CPU. And I'll have some advice on that coming up fairly soon. Now, what to do if you want to stop the software running? I bring up the window, the command window, 
and you see you can hit Control C, that will stop the server, and then hit Y, and that will terminate the job. You can then come back and restart this particular page if you want to, when you want to run Comfy UI again. Now, if you're interested in learning more, there are some courses that I offer and you can subscribe to these. And uh, the beginner one currently is the Learn Generative AI with SDXL Stable Diffusion and Comfy UI. That one will be the starting position. And uh, you also have the possibility of subscribing to the YouTube channel that has got quite a lot of lectures on how to use Stable Diffusion and Comfy UI.